on YouTube? Welcome back to Beamer Frame. You guys join me here with my BMW M4 G82 and we just installed a $4,000 titanium exhaust system on this car. Now it sounds absolutely amazing. It's much louder. Full titanium tips as well. I believe there's a four inches straight cut, not angled like OEM and also staggered. I know a professional detailer and car washer that's gonna get this thing right. And he's got some cool cars there for us to take for a spin. After we get this thing cleaned up, we're gonna go ahead and take it and get some coffee at this awesome cars and coffee location. A whole bunch of Porsches, BMW M cars, a lot of supercars there as well. So let me set, let's hop inside the M4 and get on the road. So if you guys are interested and want to support the channel, just head over to propercarsonly.com. Get one for you, your loved one, for this Valentine's Day coming up. If you guys aren't familiar with this car, this is a BMW M4 G82. It's working with just under 500 horsepower in the main transmission version. We still get some nice burbles, some nice pops. This car is available in a manual, a uh, competition, uh, the CS in the M3 sedan, and CSL in the M4 coupe. 500 horsepower in a manual car is a lot to handle. And this car has almost as much torque as it does horsepower. So it can get a little dicey from here and there. It's not as sketch as the previous generation, the F80. Working with the three liter inline six by turbo. A lot of people such as myself say this is a better sounding and performing engine than the S55 one in the F80. kind of hear more of the engine and down low it actually almost sounds identical to an f80 car kind of a lower hum nice rolls kind of like a lower pitched hum but as soon as you get three and a half four thousand and up it's much more higher pitch than the f80 generation which i absolutely love so
fairly quiet. I mean, it gives a very good pitch. And the cold starts really loud. But just under load and everything, it's it's in comparison to my F82, which only has a cat back. The F82 is significantly louder than this car, with just a cat back stock down pipe. So that's something to keep in mind. If you guys are looking for a really loud exhaust setup, you have to do the down pipes. If anything, um, if you don't want the too obnoxiously loud sound, then you're going to have to do uh, down pipes and then maybe keep the stock exhaust and just do like a mid pipe. I hear the down pipes with the mid pipe on this car um, is plenty loud. In some cases, it's too loud. So we're going to be doing the full shebang, the full cat back with the down pipe. So this car is going to be screaming coming up here shortly. BMW is known for having some of the best sounding sports cars, right? The E92 M3 with the high revving, naturally aspirated V8. And I must say, the S58 is a proper sounding car. It sounds really good, especially for a six cylinder. But for any car of that matter, it just sounds honestly amazing with the right exhaust setup. big pop it just let off that sounded phenomenal it doesn't come every time it comes at certain revs i've had some really loud pops come off this exhaust but it's not all the time obviously if you do the tune you get the crackles right you can do a verbal map but there's something satisfying about working for that sound and it coming out naturally up here at Letty Auto where they'll be taking my GD2 M4 and properly detailing it for the first time. They'll be detailing and washing the exterior and doing the interior as well. So they're gonna be cleaning up that Silverstone, getting rid of all the dirt from the previous owner. It was kind of left pretty dirty. If you guys look up close, you'll see it's like a dark gray. The interior is actually supposed to be white. So they're gonna be going ahead and taking care of all that for me inside and out. This car is gonna be the cleanest it's ever been. So you can see this is their logo right here. This is Letty Auto Works. And what they do is they detail cars, they ceramic coat cars, they PPF cars, they even wrap cars. This is one of Sasha's personal cars, an R33 GTR with the right spec out wheels. It's in midnight purple. But even better than that, it is right hand drive. It's a manual. It's got a Recaro bucket seat in there as well. But my favorite part, it still has the Hitagana, Kanji, and Katakana characters, the Japanese writing up top on the headliner. And come around back it's got this nice wing on it it's got a big exhaust pipe as well this thing's got to sound good it's got to be a lot of fun to drive this mural is pretty cool as well it says the honor and loving memory of my dear grandfather this is just really cool i like to see artwork like this old school big body bends with the owner standing right there like that that is just awesome speaking of benzes we have another one right here which is an amg 63s in frozen black red interior this is the v8 by turbo 
So this is the proper one that you want to see. It's an absolutely stunning car. I even like the kind of bezel on these exhaust tips as well. It's got a nice diffuser wing on it as well. I think it's adjustable. See the interior on this is just next level. The AMG man. Wow. I think you can option bucket seats on this as well. Just a lot of carbon pieces in here. I know, I know. I missed it. I missed the 22. <laughs> So this is what we just took out on the road, just random. This is a Evo MR Evolution based off the Lancer Mitsubishi. I actually really wanted one of these cars. So it's kind of cool to check that off my list of cars that I've driven. out the bay we're gonna pull my g82 in the bay we're gonna get some nice shots in this setting right here Just one cold start after another this is bad As you can see, we have the G82 M4 parked up here at Letty Auto, fully detailed inside and out. This is actually the cleanest this car has ever been since I've owned it. We've owned it just over a month and a half. This thing is literally a mirror right now. It looks absolutely amazing. You can really see the port of my blue in this lighting right here. But one thing I'm super happy about is look how clean the carbon fiber roof is. It's literally a flawless roof. Can't find any imperfections on that. And then we come around back just absolutely amazing still got that valve master exhaust looking and sounding incredible as you guys heard uh sasha gave us some revs for us as well but also it's the first time putting tire shine on the wheels as well so it's glistening the wheels are super clean right now which is awesome to see but more importantly is on the inside they noticed my interior was actually pretty dirty from the previous owner um i don't know if it's because it's just white everything kind of stands out on this but as you guys could see they were brushing out all the dirt in the silverstone so you can see the seats are actually white now before they were kind of darkish gray and they really brought out that nice silverstone color they even cleaned the alcantara um, they wiped down the carbon fiber on the sides as well and then you can see the center console i mean all the white leather on this car has really been brought out and it looks absolutely amazing I mean, I gotta say, if you guys are specking out G82, you gotta get the carbon bucket seats. Even in the G80 M3s, they really change the game, they make the interior feel a lot more special, a lot more expensive. But I will say, on the secondhand market, it is very hard to find these seats. So, if you get the opportunity to get one for a good price, and if you're buying new, definitely spec these out. I honestly didn't realize how dirty my interior was. I guess the dealership didn't do a full proper interior detail on this. Maybe they didn't realize how dirty it was either. But now this thing is seriously just popping right now. You can see the carbon fiber on the dash. Looks really good with the ambient lighting setup. You can see we got that Beamer Fam logo as well. All the carbon fiber wiped down. I mean, literally, interior is brand new on this car. 
So now that we got the car cleaned up, let's go ahead and hop back inside, finally get our coffee, and finish up today's video. Shout out to Letty Auto for getting this car clean. We also picked up Chanel. This is pretty cool. We got a couple military vehicles. Nice Humvee H1. That thing just looks like a beast. On the highway with the valves open, it's still cruising. There's no drone or anything. This exhaust is really high quality. So I'm very happy with it. But my favorite part is you can go ahead and click the mirror up there and then the valves close. So we routed the buttons of the valve controller to the actual garage opener buttons up here as well so very cool and then you can see if we just did it's honestly quieter than stock so i, I absolutely love the options you can get with this exhaust and if i want to we just open it right back up drone or anything and we're gonna see how much that changes when we get the down pipes we're gonna be putting those on here shortly yeah, this car's got plenty of power it definitely feels a little bit more peppy but that change of performance and power isn't as drastic as uh, when we took the f82 exhaust off I felt like we gained a little bit more power with the AWE track exhaust I think the factory exhausts on these are already very efficient so you don't really notice that much of a gain you get a little bit more throttle response you notice it more at the higher rpms um, but i know for sure when we do those down pipes this thing is going to get at least 15 20 horsepower and you know before the tune and once we tune it i think we can get up to 30 35 so So as you guys see, we made it to the coffee location, which is uh, one of the biggest car meets in LA. They have this once a month at a Porsche dealer. You can see this Porsche Santa Clarita behind us. Whole bunch of cool cars here, Porsches, M's, anything under the sun. Wide body kits as well. We're gonna walk around, check some of these cars out. We gotta get some coffee because I'm, I'm still tired. I need some energy. Well, you can see over here, people are just ripping down the streets. You got all the supercars, the Porsches. We got GC3, F8, more Ferraris over here as well. You got more people just coming in and out. You see there's so many people if you look closely. This meet is always packed, always fun. And once upon a time, these cars were super rare, highly sought after. People are paying over 200 grand over sticker just to get one of these. But they have about six or seven of them here today. This one's white. It's got all the YSEC pack, all the carbon fiber. Look at the fenders on this as well. Even the parking lights are built into the fenders on the side. Just pretty cool. You can see one downstairs. It says blue wheels as well we got some cool cars tucked over here as well this is kind of like the overflow lot of the dealer we got a nice mclaren signature wheels we've seen this on the channel a few times four or five eight coupe look at this old school eight series which is actually for sale up here jet black like the wheels on it and as you see in here is the main showroom very cool cars rare ones too like a 911 sport classic i believe that's a heritage car then over here we have a carrera gt and like a frozen black red accents even the engine cover is painted in red to match beautiful car we got a ride in this car back in new york in albany a few years ago you og subscribers will remember that this was probably the best car i've ever been inside of wow you can see the brakes are red headlight housing is red as well 
just a super cool spec well a 911 sport classic you can see it has special badging like heritage badge right there it's got a nice duck spoiler on it and then below us is a whole museum downstairs on the G82 generation really restrict the sound of the car. So even if you do a cat back, straight pipe, it's gonna be quieter than the F80 generation. I'm sure once we install those down pipes on the car, that inline six is really gonna open up and scream. And we're gonna hear it, we're gonna hear a lot more volume out of the car uh, than we ever have before on any one of our cars aside from our M6. I'm super excited, in a few days we'll be installing those. But on top of that, we get to talk about a little bit more what we're gonna be doing with this build since we have kind of kicked off with the first modification. So, it's just a cool place to chill. Talk about just all the engine sounds is awesome. Uh, but starting on the front of the car, we're gonna be doing a whole new front bumper. On the car. And it's, that, it's actually a bumper that none of you guys have ever seen before. So my car is pretty much gonna be the first car showcasing the bumper. It's gonna have smaller grills, um, that are almost exactly the same off the 3.0 CSL. So it's gonna be a more favorable front end look for the car. We're also doing fenders on the car as well. They're gonna be partial carbon fiber. Uh, same with the front bumper. So we're gonna get a lot more aggressive, also OEM type of look on this car. Obviously we're gonna be doing the full carbon body kit as well. That includes, that includes side skirts. That's E923. Oh my God, it's gonna take a that sound, that just gives me chills, that sound. But we're gonna be doing side skirts, uh, carbon fiber and performance style side skirts. And we're gonna be doing a rear diffuser. I won't tell you which kind of rear diffuser yet. Um, we're also doing a spoiler as well. We're doing bits and pieces on the car to enhance it. It's that, but at the same time, it's gonna go with that new front bumper. So this is gonna be the most involved build that we've ever done here on the channel. That first one was a G80 M3 definitely had down pipes. That's what my car should be sounding like. Wow. But after we get the car fully built, we're gonna be taking it across the country on a nice road trip. We're gonna be doing a lot of driving in this G80. Um, that's pretty much why I got a newer car so I could really take it across the map, still have warranty and this and that. So speaking of warranty, uh, tunes and stuff like that, we're gonna hold off until the warranty kind of dies down. We're gonna really enjoy it because we're taking it on all these road trips. So I hope you guys stay tuned for the build process. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, we really appreciate it. Check us out on Instagram at BeaverFam. Also, check out our merch, propercarsonly.com. Get yourself a hoodie, t-shirt, anything you would like to support the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video.